Hi everyone, so in this video we will be discussing about web development bootcamps on Udemy. The best web development bootcamps and all the details like how you can prepare for these bootcamps, how to study from these bootcamps. Okay, so let me start one by one. So first talking about from my experience, I think the best two courses of Udemy in web development is Angela U course and Colt Steels course. Okay, so I have gone through both uh, both the courses now i will be discussing all the important points which you need to keep in mind if you are also following the same okay so you can purchase either of these courses both of the courses are fantastic amazing content and uh, it is totally worth it okay but some things which uh, like something which you need to keep in your mind that i will be telling you okay so first thing if you are going through any of them first let decide that what you are targeting okay so if you are a student and you only want to sit for the placements you want a good company uh, you want to crack the interviews so you want some projects in your res resume or cv okay so if you are targeting only the project section of the resume through web development okay then what you need to focus on and second point which we will be discussing if you want to become a proper web developer you want to go in the web development field you are only looking for web development field then what you need to do okay because both the things are different so first talking about if you are already all uh, if you only want to target the project section of your resume so you are purchasing this course so what you need to focus on first definitely your projects you will go through the whole course and uh, uh, you will create the projects uh, both courses contain some uh, contain some good projects so you can create the projects okay and what you need to focus on the first thing that is in the front end grid and flex model okay first you need to focus on grid and flexbox model because these both uh, are important things okay then what you need to focus on you need to focus on javascript javascript is really important because uh, if if you are creating project and if you are going to, for the uh, campus placements interviews or off campus interviews then companies can ask you the basics of javascript or object concepts from javascript or some basic mcqs from javascript or output based questions from javascript so it is important to go through the javascript of the course well okay then what you need to uh, go for the basics of nodes uh, node.js okay so basic of node.js and apis basics of database and mongodb and uh, react.js and basics of react.js so if you are going only for the project then these things are enough you do not need to do anything additional apart from this focus on only these things and make good project second important thing understand the whole architecture of the project whatever you are creating like what is the front end portion what is the back end um, portion how you can segregate them how you are connecting them how you are using apis database or node and basic of all the back end is the most important thing because if you are going in the interviews most probably they will be asking you the basics of the back end or javascript this is the most important part okay so focus on this but now on the second condition and this course is perfect you do not need to uh, purchase any kind of additional thing or you do not need to go uh, uh, through any kind of additional resources okay but now coming to the second point which is for only web developers so this is really important because uh, this is uh, a big thing so talking about this if you want to become a proper web developer then what you need to focus upon so first purchase this course okay and start learning from it so when you are learning for, uh, from it first whenever you reach to grid and flexbox model you need to practice it on your own because i am also a web developer i am working in deloitte usa from last two years so i have experienced that what they can ask you what the companies can ask what will help you to become a good web developer okay so when you are going through flex and grid models practice it on your own create at least one to two small projects by uh using various concepts of it because it is really important and most of the companies focus on the development from grid and flex side okay so this is really important now second thing uh, that is javascript okay so when you go for javascript you need to follow at least one playlist one course or youtube videos for javascript okay because the javascript will be not enough in both of the courses Okay, so you need to go in the in-depth of the JavaScript because if you want to become a proper web developer, then the 60% of the skill coverage will be only JavaScript, your pure JavaScript. Okay, so you need to spend your more and more time on JavaScript because 
most of the times interviewers or uh, if you are going for anything if you are creating some system design if you are creating uh, anything scenario if you are connecting with the back end if you are solving some problem if you are creating some data structure everything will be on javascript okay so when whenever uh, whenever you reach till uh, javascript mark my words at least make in depth concepts in javascript okay javascript is really uh, important you need to follow some additional resources for javascript okay so go deep in javascript okay then talking about other things so javascript is really important if you want to uh, become a proper web developer then going uh, after this you need to focus on node js theory concepts plus node js whenever you are following these courses node js part you need to go some additional resources for the theory concepts especially okay understand what is node js why we are using node js what is special in node js what is special in express js why we are using express js because these things are important and most of the times intu uh, interviewers ask these things okay then the second thing is mongodb okay keep good practice of mongodb apis and one of the most important thing is presenting the data for front end okay so when you learn whole back end then what uh, the thing is back end is basically fetching the da uh, data from the database and showing it on uh, on the front end side okay but but most important part is when you are fetching the data how much data is required how you are fetching the data how you can optimize the performance what you need to present on the front end side what are the security aspects from the database these all things you need to keep in mind and you will find some lake of sources in these courses you need to go to the over, uh, stack overflow you need to go for some documentation to cover all these topics this is really important if you want to become a web developer because in the back end side we are learning to fetch the data but the most important part is how you present the data in the front end smoothly i am using the word smoothly because yes we can present the data in the front end but a proper web developer always do this thing in a smooth manner like let's take a example so i need suppose uh, i need some five rows okay for uh, five uh, rows of data for presenting something but if i am fetching 100 rows the query is fetching 100 rows then i am uh, trying some loops and i am trying some filtration and then i am keeping the five rows so this will be not a optimized code okay so we uh, you need to implement what is the best po possible way to optimize the back end part of the house because that thing will really help you in all the interviews in all the companies because sometimes you will find questions like this so we have tons of tons of files or tons of tons of database how you will optimize the performance this is a very common question in the interview so you need to prepare good on that side of the house which will be not covered properly in these courses okay so you have to go some additional things in this then other thing is react js so when you are following react js react js in self is a very big thing okay so keep a good practice of react js because dekho if you are going in the company most of the times the development will be on angular if you are going in the very large companies or a large project otherwise react if you are going for some small project okay so then at that time on the development time the basic things like jquery or some pure javascript will not help you out okay then at the development time react js will be helping you out to out of the every situation so react js part is really important if you want to become a front end developer or you want to become a uh, good at front end okay react js itself is a very very big skill so i will suggest you to at least make one additional project whenever you are going through these courses this is an important part okay so uh, talking about this so we already covered some front end things back end things and what you need to uh, prepare additionally okay so at last what should be in your hand so in your hand if you want to become a proper web developer you should be good with the css flexbox grid model you should be good 
at JavaScript with some additional resources, you need to go uh, some depth concept of the JavaScript. Then fourth thing, you need to be good in Node.js backend part, all the theory concepts and all. You need to be good at APIs, how to how you can create the APIs, how you can fetch the data from APIs. You need to be good in the database side of the house. You need to be good in the theory concept. You need to be good in the architecture of the backend. Plus, you need to be good the optimization performance of the website and security and the authentication. So this is the whole concept which you need to cover. Okay. At last, you should have one good portfolio and two big additional projects. I am not saying just create the project uh, from the courses. If you want to become a very good web developer, then you should create at least two big projects on your own. So this is the final output which you should be targeting if you are starting with these courses okay i hope uh, i have made I, I had made sense so uh, for you and you like this video so thank you so much for watching